In this video, we're looking at more lattice multiplication examples. And here we're going to focus on three by three digit combinations. So let's let's just try to set this up. We'll talk about what all this means and then we'll talk about how to solve it. So let's just try something simple like um, 123 times 321. Now with lattice multiplication, we also need to set up um, our diagonals here. And what we do is we draw diagonals across each of these squares. So we're going to draw one here. And we're going to extend it some length beyond the grid. It doesn't really matter how long. But we do that so that we cross every square with a diagonal. Here, one was done. One here. And then one here as well. So now, actually, I'm realizing I'm going to copy and paste this, and I'm going to talk about it in terms of what's happening, and then, of course, uh, how to solve it. So that's why we have two images here. So here on the left, what does all this mean? Well, first of all, I'm going to start with 1 times 3. So this, this, these two numbers are both 1s, and the, the product of 1 and 3 is 3, right? So we'll put a 3 here, and this is, I'm going to keep my work. Um, nothing goes here, because if you imagine what this would represent, that's, this is going to represent the tens diagonal right here. And here, this little diagonal right here, this is for the ones. Okay, so that, that's our start. And now I'm going to go for 2 times 3, which is 6. So what we do now is we put a 6 here. We don't put anything there. And what's really happening now is that this diagonal is going to represent, if you think about what's going to happen throughout, this will represent all the tens we have, right? Because 2 times 3 is really what? Well, this 2 is really 20, right? In 321. And this 3 here is 1s, but here we're saying... 20 times 3 is really 60. That's what this 6 represents right here. And later on, we'll have a number that ends up right here. That'll be the combination of 1, this 1's right here, and this 2 right here. And this is not a 2, really. This is 20 as well. right? This is 20 and 123. So there we're going to do 20 times 1, and a number will fall here that's going to represent 20, and we'll put a 2 in the tens diagonal, and that's the idea. So now we're going to, we're going to keep going. 3 times 3, which is just 9. But of course, this 9 right here, what does that represent? Well, that's really 300 times 3, so this 9 represents 900. And this diagonal right here is going to represent the hundredths. So you see how this lattice multiplication sorts all of this out for us. And now we can just keep going. Uh, what I'm going to do next is this 1 times this 20. And that is going to be equal to 2. Right? 1 times 2 is 2. So that's 2 tens and no hundredths. And that's what 20 is. Next, I'm going to do 2 times 2, which is 4. And that's really just 20 times 20. So this location right here is... Um, 400, right, because it's the hundreds diagonal. And then we keep going. 3 times 2 is 6. Okay. And what does that represent? Well, this 3 is really 300. And this 2 is really 20. So that really represents 6,000. And this right here now becomes the thousands place. And you see that each diagonal that we move up, we move up a power of 10. First, in this first diagonal here, this is the ones column. And you can think of that this is a conversation for later. Ones are really 10 to the 0. So that's the first power of 10. How many ones do we have? And that's a separate conversation. But here, this is the next power of 10, 10 to the first. How many tens do we have? And the next diagonal is what? Well, this is the hundreds, right? And that's 10 to the second. And here, in this diagonal, this is really 10 to the third. That means 10 times 10 times 10. We're going up by powers of 10. This is the thousands place. And you can predict, of course, that this must be 10 to the fourth, which is 10 thousands place. And this last little diagonal right here is 10 to the fifth, 
it's the hundreds thousands place and we'll and we'll get to that in a moment so we're moving up powers of 10 and we can quickly work through this without even thinking about these powers but I think it is important to understand what's happening here now we have what well I'm gonna go back to the one this is just, just my way of solving I keep returning to this number and starting there one times one is one but again that's really one times a hundred so this one goes in the hundreds diagonal and now we have two times one which is really two but again that's not really a two and a one that's a hundred and a twenty so twenty one hundred that's two thousand this two goes in the thousands diagonal and then three times one well it's really three hundred times one hundred that's going to equal what well three and this three is in the the ten thousands column right thousand ten thousand so now what do we do well we bring it all together we add up each diagonal so this diagonal is just a zero there here's a three here's an eight here's a fourteen and here's an eight and a three. Oh no what do we do well is the answer three eight one four eight three does that make sense well no because this fourteen should fit into one place value so let's just say that's not the answer what we have to do now because we, we're dealing with place oops, we're dealing with place value in this in this problem so we have to keep to that place value so this 14 what does that represent well this diagonal represents hundreds so this means 14 one hundredths so 14 times a hundred and if you think about what that's going to be that's going to represent 1400 so this 14 really is 1 1000 that's this one right here and 400. So why don't we just, and this is what we do in last multiplication, why don't we just add this 1 into the next place value? And that's what we do in general last multiplication. Whenever there's more than 9 in any diagonal, we move the leftover into the next place value. So here, in fact, what we're going to do, let me erase some of this, is we're going to just move the 1 from the 14 into the next diagonal. And you might be tempted to oops, to move 10 over, because 14 is 10 and 4, and that's true. But remember, you're thinking in terms of hundreds and thousands. 14 is 10 one hundreds and 4 one hundredths. But you can also think of 14 one hundredths as 1 one thousand, that's why I put a 1 here, and 4 hundredths. That's still 1,400. So now we're ready. The answer is 3 nine four eight three or thirty nine thousand four hundred and eighty three but since I tend to make mistakes in these arithmetic problems I'm going to double check with a calculator so one two three oops times three two one thirty eight nine thousand four hundred and eighty three great In the next video we'll try uh, a tougher three by three example thanks